So we are going to the market at Voron and trying to get some fresh vegetables from the region. I would say let's go. Chris? <laughs> Maybe we can't even get any vegetables. I think there's clothes in this market. <laughs> I would say they fooled us. <laughs> there's no vegetables anywhere. <laughs> well, at least we can pray for power. So it turns out we've just been on the wrong side of the market. We found the vegetables. <laughs> I think this is where we'll get some stuff. We still have got some carrots and we still have one leek and also onions and garlic so we don't need that. Let's see what else we can get over here. In general, the more colorful the better and the more variety the better. Our gut microbiome is uh, the healthier the more different vegetables we eat. So. I usually try to pay attention to just eat lots of different vegetables and fruits and uh, plant foods and different kind of foods every every week, every month and I also try to eat seasonal so for example I don't buy strawberries in the winter because it doesn't make sense, they don't taste very good and well, like energetically and environmentally it's not the best thing to buy uh, strawberries in, uh, in winter. So I also try to see which vegetables are in season and then I try to get those. Start. Very good. Well, I fry those with onions and with a little bit of uh, lemon because I still have a lemon. those so you don't have to get paper bags from the supermarket or the market you can just use your own little yeah, bags and you can reuse them a million times so Alex uh, we have been on the market, right? Yeah, we finally found some vegetables <laughs> in the market too. Awesome. Um, what's the plan for today? We are still in Voron? Still in Voron, no, yeah. Training trip? Yep. Yeah. We had a small session this morning because we both didn't feel very good. And now we are back earlier and there's still some sunlight. Which makes it amazing to film our new cooking show! <laughs> So what actually what we'll do today is we will make some vegetables in the oven and also I found some chard on the market to Deutsch Mangold and we will make that also in the pan with some garlic and some lemon but first since the vegetables in the oven will take a bit longer we'll make those first So I've got oh, leek, I've got some eggplant, I've got some zucchini, broccoli also an onion and some garlic. I'll not use all the garlic, but a little bit. I usually pay attention to eat lots of uh, different kinds of vegetables and fruits during the week because the more variety the better since it is healthy for our gut microbiome and uh, yeah I mean you can do a little experiment and count how many different plant foods you have to eat every year every week and I think 30 to 40 is already not so easy to get to I think one of the main things for athletes is that cooking doesn't take too much time 
because obviously when you come back from training and you had a long day you don't want to spend like an hour or two hours in the kitchen and prepare something super long and fancy therefore this most of my cooking only takes like half an hour of course if you put something in the oven you have to count in that it needs like maybe 30 to 40 minutes 45 minutes even in the oven but the actual preparation time is uh, relatively short so we'll put some olive oil over it olive oil is good for the brain helps you to concentrate and minimizes alzheimer's risk has lots of healthy fatty acids so i usually like to cook with uh, olive oil what else have we got here we've got here amazing spice it's called piri piri chris brought it i kind of like it da, 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 and there da, it's gone and there it's gone da, da, da. got herbs of the Provence. I also like to use just like a bit of pepper. I usually you don't use very much salt uh, because uh, salt is also a thing of habit. If you use a lot of salt you want more salt and I've uh, started to minimize my salt intake because uh, I think eating too much salt is not too healthy. So usually uh, when I do vegetables like that I don't uh, use salt and also when I uh, fry vegetables and stir fry vegetables in the pan I rather use a bit of soy sauce instead of salt. So the other thing with salt is it is uh, bad for high blood pressure and also quite a few other diseases. There we go. 200 degrees. Celsius that is obviously. That will give us a little bit of time to prepare the chart. Garlic is, uh, has also a lot of good, uh, good ingredients, good things. Uh, when we train a lot and uh, our bodies are knackered or tired, it, it, like, it's easier to get infections. So because of the allicine, uh, is a sort of a natural uh, antibiotic. So a bit of garlic is uh, never bad. And a bit of carrot. For snacking while cooking is also never bad. We have got chard, but in general, dark leafy greens are always a big part of my diet, such as like spinach and kale and chard and broccoli and yeah, they have lots of vitamins such as a vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K. I'll separate the chart a little bit into the stem, the lower part and the leaves because usually the lower part takes a bit longer for cooking. So I'll start frying that in the pan with a bit of olive oil and with garlic and probably also some soy sauce. And after that I'll chop those up and add them and at the very end we'll squeeze some lemon on top and it'll be exquisite. Bon appetit. We have some rapeseed oil over here and some uh, very delicious olive oil. And people say you should not heat up olive oil more than 180 degrees. So here in the package it says don't heat up this more than 140 degrees. So a good question is which oil do you use for cooking? And then there are some people say with coconut oil, but then there are other people that say coconut oil also is not, big, not bad, not good because of this and this and this. So we'd like to hear from you which oil do you use and why? And which oil is the best uh, to fry something in the pan? Last piece of the meal, my delicious Tempe from Tempe Manufacture, who are so kind to support us and deliver us loads of those packages. And today I'm going for the Tempe Giros spice. Tempe. I think that will fit quite well. That'll be good. Usually, mm, people like cut into stripes and then fry it. But if you're lazy or if you prefer otherwise, you can just literally pop the whole block out of the package and fry it in the pan. I 
against all beliefs, uh, tempeh and tofu are two completely different products. They're both made out of soy, but tempeh is actually made out of soybeans, whereas tofu is kind of what cheese is for milk. That's what tofu is for soy milk. So it's a uh, curdled soy milk, and uh, it's not actually uh, like the soybean, whereas tempeh is made out of soybeans. Could also be made out of different beans. Through a fermentation process with probiotic bacteria, tempeh becomes tempeh and has uh, lots of benefits for the microbiome. In addition, it also has 17.5 grams of protein per 100 grams. So, this whole thing has a uh, double of that. Everything is ready. Temp is fried. The chart is also ready. Ah, vegetables in the oven look absolutely delicious. And only took like I think 35 minutes. Et voila! Some salt missing, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs>